Okay. Okay, we'll just do a quick little bit here about training shrubs and, and uh, grapes and stuff like that. We just did the trees. There's a video. We'll get that up, but we'll uh, add this to the end here. So we'll go through a bit about the shrubs here. So if you come and look, these are the these are hascat bushes. So any sort of bush, you know, is very very similar. They don't actually need too too much work. You know, when it comes to um, pruning and training, right? You just want it to get kind of bushy. They're going to get a bit bigger depending on the tendency. Hascaps can be very low or very high. But with the with them, the only thing you really want to do is just take down some of the crisscross and some of the you know really really crowded areas. So you know maybe I'd take down this, these couple, this one, and then just rejuvenate the dead ones. Okay, so you know the. Uh, the shrubs are going to shoot up a lot of new growth and they're going to die and they're going to, you know, at some years they're going to have a big branch that dies back and then another one kind of takes over and they're going to have that form. So you don't need to do too, too much, especially in the first few years, you know, the first two, three years, just let it grow. And then uh, you could just start shaping it and opening up a little bit. I'll show you um, these... Uh, Cherry plums, they're, they're very similar to any of the cherries we have. So if we look at a few of these, these uh, cherry plums we have left over from last year, they're, they're very similar to the hardy cherries with the way they grow, right? They'll grow up a lot of these, a lot of these stems and then the stems will actually die back after Maybe three to five years, you'll have a nice, nice, big, great stem that looks beautiful. And then this one will just die, you know, and then another one will take over and they will rejuvenate themselves. They're very um, vigorous growers. So the only thing I would do on this is the same kind of thing, you know, clean it up so it's not coming too much in on itself. So like, you know, perhaps this one here, this one here, you know, maybe this one. And then you might want to start, you might, you probably want to trim some of these back. So this is all um, super vigorous spindly growth. So you can always just nip a few of them. Just kind of to keep it working back on itself a little bit. Some of this really vigorous, you know, just some of the tips. Like this one here, you know, take that off where it's growing back in on itself. And that's kind of the same, you know, you just open them up and let good air flow through. You're not... Uh, so particularly selecting limbs or shapes or stuff like that these bush fruits so especially the um, the sour cherries except for the Evan which is tree form the rest are bush form so you're gonna let them grow up you know a few big low stems like that so don't try to train them up into a tree so you know for a for a hardy you know one of these hardy cherry plums this one's got a little bit of a tree form so not particularly not particularly ideal but uh you know it's, it's the same thing it's a matter of preference you know you make it less fruit but if you want it to have that more upright form it's always an option so we'll take a look here at the green and we'll go through them quick quick as well before i get too wet these aren't uh these aren't perfect examples especially not that one because they did them wrong for many many years so Ideally what you want, you're going to train them up on this trellis. So you're going to have your main stem, nice big thick main stem come up and then it's going to divide in half. So if we, let's just pretend that this grew all the way to here and then you kind of train it right across. And then every year you want to take back pretty much most of everything right back to these main stubs and then cut off these little pieces here to a few buds. And that's where all your new growth is going to come and to fill up over your trellis. So the grapes grow fruit on the one year, one year vine. So these are going to shoot up and they're going to go crazy. And then over the years, what you can do is actually rejuvenate them. You know, so in this case, because I did such a bad job, what I may end up doing is use this piece here and this piece here to retrain my two main big long branches and then have the new growth come from there. Or potentially even right here, because this will be one nice big stem and then train it from here. I haven't uh, particularly decided, but that's how I'm gonna reopen my grapes. And this one here was even worse. This one, um, 
this one had a really bad time. So what I'm doing is same thing, retraining up these ones here, and then I'll be able to come off from here. Yeah. And I we all recommend using one stem, but I haven't got one yet. So I'll do this for a couple years, get some grapes, and then hopefully I can train one of these or these into a brand brand new stem. And this one's actually a nice one, it's right low from under the ground. So I'm using this from a new stem, train out a couple vines off that, and then um, use that to kind of rejuvenate it. But that's kind of what you want to do for the grapes is bring them bring them right back down. Like I say, this one was done wrong for many years, so should spring back now in the right shape. So that's a little bit about the um, the shrubs, grapes, uh, bush fruit. Um, we want, to, yeah, most and most of the bush fruit similar. So the has cap, so currants, um, the gooseberries, the ones that grow in that uh, low low bush form. That's all you really want to do. Clean it up a little bit, rejuvenate some of the dead stuff. You know, keep the keep the center clear. You know, I, I'm I, and I wouldn't even if you never do your your has caps or your currants. It's not uh, it's not a big deal either. They're pretty um, they'll be okay. So hopefully that uh, gets you uh, gets you the hang of stuff and uh, gets you on your way for the spring. This is a perfect time of year to do it. Late. Uh, late winter, early spring, and we'll uh, pack in for now. Thanks a lot.